Rockies opening day pins. Of all the game day traditions at Coors Field, there is one that's unique to this section behind home plate. You get the hug from Mary. Hey, how are you, honey? If you don't get the hug from Mary, then it's not a ball game. 78 year old Mary O'Dell is starting her 17th season as a Rockies usher. Hi, honey. Hey, happy how are you opening doing? day. And in that time, she's easily surpassed 17,000 <laughs> hugs. I went to 70 games last year, and you don't start them without hugging Mary. <laughs> and for Mary, the start of each new season looks and feels like a family reunion. Everybody's here, and I love it. Despite her obvious love for this place, Mary's dedication goes far beyond the seats of Coors Field. You see, for the past eight seasons, Mary has also been reporting to spring training right here at Salt River Fields in Scottsdale, Arizona, where she can hone her skills just like the team. I run, I walk many miles, and uh, I run stairs. She also runs the same section right. that she does in Denver, right behind home plate. How is everyone? I thank you very much. And working here carries some added responsibility. This is the owner's section, so that's why I'm, yeah. I'm very protective. She watches our row. She's like the mother of the row. Rocky's owner Dick Monfort says that relationship began before there were any rows to protect or Rocky's games to work. Mary's actually was with us in the beef business uh, before she started at Coors Field. Yes, Mary started working for Monfort Meatpacking 33 years ago and decided to follow the Monfort boys into baseball in 1998. Welcome here. Welcome here. It's no wonder why every family member, including co-owner Charlie, gets her signature greeting. She's big on hugs. She's a big hugger. That's all right, too. We like hugging. I like hugging. Good to see you. It's a nice feeling to be loved and cared about because lots of times owners carry their feelings on their sleeve, and that's not true of Dick and Charlie. All right, we'll see you next time. Of course, it's also not true of Bye -bye. Mary. Love you. Love you too, honey. Who treats everyone like family. People look forward to that hug because you don't get many in the world today. I love you. I love you too. Mary says this is not what keeps her working. It's what keeps her living. You'd never guess her age. I feel like I'm 22. And she plans to continue the tradition as long as she can. Till I'm 100 and I told Dick Mom for that I'm going to live to outlive him and I'm going to be here till I'm 100 years old. If she can get up and down the aisle, I'll bet she will. Good to see you. Kent Erdahl, Fox 31 Denver. I gotta figure out where I gotta put this here. The 30,000 Christmas lights that shine from this Fort Collins home. Maybe I'm part monkey, I don't know. Are enough to grab the attention of passing traffic of all kinds. This was the first thing I put up. Mary O'Dell was this here. Is the woman behind all these lights. To put these up, I laid on my belly and stapled them all up. And despite being 78 years old, no, you're gonna come my Mary way. isn't showing any signs of slowing down. People have a hard time with thinking that I'm that old and I don't act my age. She doesn't bother listening to those people. No, nope, she'll do it whether we're here or not is the scary part. So we, when grandma says show up, you better show up or she will do this with without us. For proof, granddaughter Morgan Kruger says you need to look no further than the massive evergreen in the front yard. And then it got too large for her to decorate it with a ladder and she threw a fit and said she, it had to be done. So she rented a bucket truck and did it herself. I go, go, go. And Mary keeps going year round. As a Rockies usher, she goes to every home game and even goes to spring training in Arizona. Right. And she's become a fan favorite because she also gives, gives, <laughs> gives. Good to see you. If you don't get the hug from Mary, then it's not a ball game. Unlike baseball, Mary has no off season. I love you. Yeah, I love you, love you too. Too. These are the hugs she cherishes most. And this is the time of year she needs them most. Her name was Deborah, but I called her Debbie. And she was really, really special. Debbie, stay still. Mary saves these lights just for Debbie, her daughter, who died suddenly 13 years ago. It's not easy, but you know what? You look up at the sky and you say, I know she can't come back, and I know she looks down and says, you know, Mom, I made you stronger than anything else. We wouldn't have made it without Grandma. Morgan is one of four grandkids that Mary helped raise after Debbie died. She is just like the thing that keeps this family together. Watch your fingies. And as the family continues to grow. I have a six-foot snowman to put together. So does Mary's display. The base is this big. She likes all the lights because it, it casts away the darkness, and it helps bring light. To do this together 
is, is wonderful. It's no wonder why her favorite season <laughs> It makes me feel good inside. is the season of giving. Yes, she is the light. With photojournalist Rico Romero. Ah, neat old lady, aren't I? Kent Erdahl, Fox 31 Denver.